So in this point of the process, this is the marking counter. Uh, what we do is we pull the bag out that we just put in, or a bag, and usually we have you know three or four people here marking in. And what we do is we're gonna take the garment out of the bag, and this is a shirt. So what we're gonna do here is uh, this customer with like medium starch on a shirt and hung on a hanger. So we're gonna mark down one shirt and then we mark down the color of the shirt, which is tan. We price it out. Then uh, these tickets up here, we use the smaller ones for shirts because these little tickets here um, fit through the shirt, the buttonhole on the shirt, a lot easier to do. But these are all color coordinated for the, each day of the week. So we start off at Monday with blue, you got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then we use red tickets for specials and uh, hotel work only, which is same day. Um, and then we use these other tickets for dry cleaning. Um, so what we're doing is, uh, this shirt's for, promised for Tuesday, so we're gonna use a purple ticket. And what we're gonna do is we staple one of the tags to the ticket. And on this tag, the number is 375, and we have one piece. But what I like to do is mark down the 375, one, and the color of the ticket. That way, if uh, the ticket falls off or accidentally gets removed, we still know where the shirt belongs. So now that it's all priced out and I got the color of the tag and everything written down, we pull the yellow off, which is our copy, and then we put the other ticket in there to wait to be hung up on Tuesday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the other tag and put it in the bottom shirt or buttonhole on the shirt, staple it to it. We do not staple the shirt itself, we just staple the tag shut. Now what we do for our pressers is we unbutton all the buttons. We check to see if there is any buttons missing. If there is, we will write down on the ticket that there's a button missing and needs to be replaced by our company. And then um, over here, we have three different shirt bins. The first one is light and no starch, which is pretty much the same. And then we have a medium starch and a heavy starch. So he asked for medium, so we're gonna place the shirt in the medium bin. Later on, or tomorrow on Tuesday, what I'll do is I'll come in in the morning and I separate all the shirts by color. So all the no starch and light starch ones, I'll have three different loads. I'll have a light load, a dark load, and a medium load. That way all the colors are the same and won't bleed on each other. And I also do the same for the medium and the heavy starch. These are all wet clean. All the, all the shirts and anything that's laundered goes in these bins. Anything that gets dry clean, we put in this bin to be separated for tomorrow. Uh, we use this bin for dry clean. We use this bin for all of our households, which are rugs, you know, comforters, blankets, drapes, and stuff like that. Uh, what I like to do is I do the dry cleaning first in the day, and then in the afternoon I will do the uh, comforters and stuff like that as the day progresses.